Can an AI-powered editor like Phil Mora actually beat a giant like Adobe Premiere Pro? Right now, short-form creators are making real money, but editing is the bottleneck. It's either powerful but complicated, like Adobe, or simple but too slow to ship. So today, I'm running a no-excuses creator test. The same six-minute faceless video, think top five tools explainer, same screen recordings, plus stock b-rolls, plus captions, one day in Adobe Premiere Pro, and one day in Filmora 14 with AI. If you're choosing your editor in 2025, this will save you hours and subscription money. By the end, you'll see which one helps you publish faster, which one repurposes smarter, and actually helps you grow your channel. And the time gap will shock you. Today, we're going to settle an age-old debate. Can an AI-powered editor like Filmora actually beat a giant like Adobe Premiere Pro? Adobe is legendary. Every pro editor has touched it at some point. But let's be real, it's expensive, it's complicated, and if you're not a full-time editor, it feels like overkill. So I decided to put them head-to-head -head in a real challenge. I took the exact same project, a six-minute faceless explainer, with AI voiceover, screen recordings, stock clips, B-rolls, punchy captions, and a couple of motion graphics. And I gave myself one day in Adobe Premiere Pro and one day in Filmora 14 with its new AI features, the same assets with the same goals. By the end of the video, you'll see exactly why Filmora might just be the smarter choice for freelancers, for faceless creators, and even for influencers who don't want to waste hours stuck in timelines and stay until the end because the results are shocking, especially when you see the time difference. Let's start with the basics. Cutting down the raw footage. I opened Adobe Premiere Pro, I loaded in my 30 minutes clip, and I began scrubbing. I had to manually hit I for in, O for out, drag it to the timeline, and repeat clip after clip after clip just to get a rough cut. It took me 42 minutes, and look here on the screen. You can see me dragging the timeline, zooming in, trying to find the perfect in point. For professionals, it feels normal, but if you're a beginner, this is where you quit. Now, watch what happens in Filmora. I click on Smart Scene Detection. The AI scans the same 30 minute clip in seconds and automatically slices it into separate shorts. It even highlights where there are big changes so I can delete the boring parts in bulk. Look at this. With one click, my entire 30 minutes is broken down into usable chunks. Time taken? Six minutes. That's a seven times the speed difference. And just so you know this isn't hype, Wondershare's own benchmark says smart scene cut reduces manual trimming time by up to 80%. Seeing it on screen? I can confirm. That's true. All right, trimming is easy, but what about advanced effects like tracking and masking? These usually separate beginners from pros. In Premiere Pro, I tried tracking. First, I drew a mask, then opened the tracker, adjusted keyframes, and corrected errors when the mask slipped. It took me over 11 minutes just to get a clean result. You can see here, I'm nudging the mask frame by frame. It's powerful, but it's painful. Now switching to Filmora, I select AI masking, draw a rough shape around the mug, and hit track. Watch this. The AI automatically locks onto the mug. In under three minutes, I've got a perfect mask. And here's the fun part. I dropped the neon glow sticker effect inside the mask and it looked like my coffee mug was glowing like a sci-fi prop. That took me seconds. Imagine trying this in Adobe. I'd need After Effects, masks, layers, and 15 minutes of patience. Filmora makes it fun instead of frustrating. Next up is speed ramping. This is the secret sauce behind cinematic edits. Those buttery smooth slow motion transitions that you see in travel vlogs and action edits. In Adobe, here's what I had to do. I had to open the speed graph, add keyframes, manually curve the ramp, adjust spacing, and pray it looks smooth. It took me nine minutes to make one sequence usable. Just look on screen. I'm dragging these Vizier handles back and forth. It's not fun. Filmora, completely different. I clicked on speed ramping and boom, I get six ready made presets. Montage, hero moment, bullet time, flash in, flash out, and jump cut. I chose montage, adjusted one slider, and I was done in two minutes. The ramp is smooth, clean, and cinematic without me even touching a graph. And here's the stat. Filmora's presets save up to 78% of editing time compared to manual ramping. Seeing it in action, I believe it. But editing isn't just visuals. 
audio is half the story. So let's test sound cleanup. In Adobe, I grabbed a clip, I applied enhanced speech, then added EQ, and then some noise reduction. It worked, but it took me 14 minutes of tweaking. Watch on screen, you can see me adjusting sliders back and forth, replaying the same clip, listening for clarity. Now in Filmora, I dropped the clip, hit AI vocal remover, and in one click, the background noises vanished. It isolated voice cleanly. It took me three minutes in total. And just for fun, I cloned my own voice using Filmora's AI voice tool to fill in missing narration. Adobe doesn't even offer that natively. Think about it. With Filmora, you can literally generate a missing line in your own voice in seconds. For content creators, that is game changing. Now let's talk color, because no video looks professional until you color grade it. In Premiere Pro, I loaded a cinematic LUT, then adjusted shadows, midtones, and highlights using Lumetri Color. It took me about 12 minutes to get a decent look. You can see here, I'm dragging curves, balancing skin tones, and I'm still struggling with orange highlights. Filmora, I clicked on LUTs, applied the built-in teal and orange preset, and instantly got that Hollywood look. Then I fine-tuned with the simple HSL slider, Watch this. I slide hue slightly and boom, it looks polished. Total time, four minutes. And here's a real fact. 65% of viewers decide whether to keep watching a video in the first 10 seconds based on visuals. Color grading is everything. And Filmora makes it fast, not frightening. But wait, we live in the TikTok and YouTube shorts era. Every long video needs to be broken down into snackable clips. So let's see how both editors handle that. In Adobe, I had to duplicate my sequence, manually crop it to vertical, reposition the subject, and export individual clips. Making three vertical shorts took me over 25 minutes. Filmora makes this almost automatic. I used Filmora Copilot 2.2 with long video to short video. In seconds, it analyzed, pulled out the highlights, and reframed them to 9 is to 16 vertical. Then I clicked on smart short clips and it generated multiple clips ready for Instagram Reels and TikTok. In under five minutes, I had four viral ready shorts. And yes, on screen, you could see Filmora literally auto-cut in a bite-sized edits. I didn't touch the timeline. For creators chasing trends, this is priceless. Now let's talk about cost, because all these time savings wouldn't mean much if Filmora was as expensive as Adobe. Adobe Premiere Pro is $20.99 a month. Add After Effects, and you're paying around $41.98 per month. That's over $500 a year. DaVinci Resolve Studio is $295 up front. Final Cut Pro is $299 one time, but only if you're on Mac. Filmora, it's $49.99 per year. That's almost 10 times cheaper than Adobe and 6 times cheaper than Final Cut. For freelancers, students, and small creators, that's not just affordable, that's sustainable. And according to a 2024 survey, 72% of beginner editors quit Adobe because of complexity and cost. Filmora removes both barriers. Adobe is the industry standard, undeniably powerful, but it's also slow to learn and heavy to operate. If you live inside complex timelines all day, stick with it. Filmora though, it's built for creators who need results fast. The AI tools, the smart scene cut, the AI masking, the speed ramping, the voice features, the smart short clips, remove friction and turn I'll do it later into done today. It's pro enough for YouTubers, freelancers and influencers, and far easier on both time and budget. If your priority is publishing consistently, repurposing for shorts in minutes and focusing on storytelling instead of slider tweaking, Filmora is the smarter choice. And now it's your turn. Download Wondershare Filmora today for PC, Android, or iOS using the link at the top of the description and pinned comment. Try out these AI tools yourself and see how much faster you can edit. Tag at Filmora underscore editor when you post your video. If you showcase your edits with Filmora features, you might even win a free license code. Don't waste hours stuck in a complex editor. Edit smarter, edit faster, and most importantly, edit your way to success.